Sound off time now. Every day here on Live at 3, we tackle one of the day's big issues with our favorite prosecutor turned radio <laughs> icon, Jeff Wagner. The sound off question today is, should we be allowed to carry firearms in public? And this, of course, stems from the, the gentleman who was, uh, had, had, yeah, had a gun in his, in his in his belt. Well, and the neighbor called police. Was the neighbor not aware of, of the law that there is an open, there's no law for open carry? Well, well see, the law is a mess in Wisconsin. Well, yeah, I mean, we've you've talked got, about you've that got a law before. against concealed carry that the Supreme Court says is unconstitutional in some situations. There's no law at all that prohibits somebody, at least directly, from carrying a firearm open in public. But so, this guy was on his own property. Right, that, that's it. That he's, he's out. He's got a sidearm on as he's planting trees in his front yard. The neighbor sees it, calls the cops. The cops come, seize the gun, and charge him with disorderly conduct, which is kind of the the catch-all, <laughs> right? Which is kind of the catch-all nuisance law. Mm -hmm. And a judge in West Dallas yesterday says, "Look, I've been through the laws. I don't think, as applied, this is illegal." Um, all right, let's start with Bob in Waukesha. I think it should be legal, okay, and I and I can see some some reason for conceal and carry under very strict regulations, but don't you find it a little weird that some guy straps on a thick gun to go out and plant a tree? You're gonna you gotta worry about vigilanteism with people like that. Okay, do you do you find it weird that the guy puts on the gun? You know, I mean, it, it kind of pops into your mind, but then again, as this individual, Mr. Krause, uh, pointed out in his uh, article, <laughs> I don't have to explain what I want to do. I don't have to explain if I'm going to church or if I'm mm -hmm. doing this or this or this or that. Well, see, and the other interesting thing is, okay, now this is West Dallas, which is a more urban area, but, you know, what if you live in a more rural area? I mean, I'm sure there's people who walk out on their property with, with shotguns or rifles to shoot varmints or sure, whatever yeah. all the time. I mean, you know, is it different? Here, here's Jason in West Dallas. In my opinion, that uh, the police just wanted to have something uh, to say, hey, uh, we think you did something wrong, but, you know, we can't be for sure. We're just going to slap disorderly conduct because, you know, we really have no idea. Do I think that the gentleman did something wrong? No, I don't. Um, well, would I walk outside of my house openly brandishing a firearm, even in a holster? No, I would I, I wonder uh, what what the backstory is here, though. Is there a history between these neighbors? Uh, has there been some sort of uh, uh, dispute, or or was the guy just trying to make a point? You know, because I mean th that that's part Maybe. of the thing. You're just trying to be out there making statement. Because uh -huh. see, everybody agrees that there are circumstances where you, you carry a gun openly, it would be disorderly conduct. I mean, sure. if if he were brandishing it or pointing it or waving it around, that's a different story. He he just had it in his holster. Now, what's really interesting to me, he was Courtney, as you were alluding to earlier, he was on his own property. But what happens about the guy who decides he wants to take his dog for a walk at 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. on the public sidewalks mm -hmm. with the, with the open firearm? But here, Here's Dave in Kenosha. On his own property is one thing. I don't have a problem with it. But obviously, you know, as you go to, in your local grocery stores or private businesses, they have their own right to have their own policies. Like where I work, for instance, there's a big sign saying no firearms past this point. Uh, it should not be a problem on his own property. It wasn't concealed. He wasn't waving it around. He was just carrying it. I think the bottom line of all this is, going back to what we talked about at the beginning, the laws are a mess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is really something where the, the legislature and the governor need to deal with concealed carry. They need to deal with open carry under what circumstances, because otherwise you're going to have all this stuff on a case-by-case -case basis, and people are really looking for guidance as to what you can do. Yeah.